Wow, was it windy? Hi everybody, Steve Elliott here. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, this painting uh, I, that I've done in Art Rage um, is painted from after visiting Buxton. It was so windy. So um, after the intro, I've put together a, a quick video uh, just to show you, give you an idea of what the um, terrain <laughs> <laughs> sounds awful doesn't it what the terrain was like and um the elements that was uh, blowing and uh, scaring us to death were like just to kind of put you in the mood for what i'm trying to convey with the painting so let's get into it <laughs> So hopefully that clip conveyed how uh, cold and windy it was. And it really was bitterly cold and really windy. I thought my mobile was going to get ripped out of my hand. And um, it was very bracing. So that is what I want to try and capture in this painting. I want to say now I'm using a, a new blender that I haven't tried before. And uh, you'll see that later on. Uh, closer to the end of the painting because I was struggling getting the effect I wanted so I tried something different so if you stay to the end of the video you'll get to see um, what I uh, used to make a difference but anyway the the size of this canvas was 4096 pixels uh, which is the highest um, size you can go either length or height uh, on an iPad and I uh, at a width height sorry of 2400 pixels so that's 4096 by 2400 pixels which is a reasonable size I guess for the iPad and um, I begin with the roller as usual crashing on a sort of a ground color or two colors that's so as I've said before I can judge um, values of color and um shade light and dark when i'm when i continue to paint after that i the this complete painting was pretty much done on two layers but the first layer was i got what i thought was a finished painting then decided to keep working on it and i used the uh, just the normal round brush for uh, most of the painting to start with but i do want to get some thick paint into this but initially i'm just using that round brush to um you know get the effect i want and i'm going to go in locally with thick paint a bit later on and i wanted to get i felt that sort of quick brush strokes sort of placed really fast <clears throat> splashed on or sort of just sort of dragged across the canvas really quick was what i wanted to to do this was a really quick painting it took about an hour i think and um i just wanted to get these brush strokes on really really fast because i felt that that is um what the mood required i, I, didn't, I didn't want anything delicate or subtle about this i just wanted to get those colors in and i used the hard out um smudge blending brush and th that was really cool you know i'm putting those trees in there and i use that hard out uh smudge blender again just flicking the paint out to get the the sort of um effect of the trees and the twigs thinning out at the top of the trees and i thought that worked really well so that was sort of a really quick way of getting those trees in and then I just sort of uh, do the same here, really. I sort of sketch in the tree or the trunk of the tree, uh, put in a few branches, and then use that same technique of using the smudge brush or the blending brush 
to uh, get the uh, branches in there. Took me a little while to get the right shape I was looking for. And I, I, I like, what I really like is that little bit of blue that I've got in there. I think that really adds something to the picture. I know it's um, on the photo, so uh, it, it didn't take a lot of creative design to come up with that. But I did choose to put it in, and I think it adds a lot. I put a little bit of white or sort of off grey in those trees to sort of um, break them up a little bit. And now I'm going in with the tubes of paint, which is turning into be one of my favorite techniques now and i'm using that odd out uh, smudge brush or hang on odd out smudge blender that's it to um, get the the effect of the sort of thick clouds but i'm not happy and i wasn't happy with the effect that i was getting all the way through the painting but i do i do sort of persevere with it for quite a while and this painting sort of made me realize I need to experiment more with different brushes that are available um, in Art Rage. Because on the iPad, you can't sort of um, make your own brushes. You can uh, sort of adjust settings on the brushes that are in there, but you can't create your own and save them. So, but I don't, I have sort of stick to three or four brushes that I really like. And I, I really need to. Uh, up the game a bit and try using some of the other brushes in there because there's uh, I got an effect that I really liked and I've never used the brush before basically because the the blender that I tried um, I'd only I tried it in watercolor and I didn't like it and you get a totally different effect in oils so I need to sort of revisit that so there we go again uh, just sort of squeezing in color I just love this technique and you can get these really nice sharp edges as well. This this painting really is about the sky and sort of getting that um, depth into it, but also the, the feeling of movement into the clouds. So it does take a, a bit of working and I was sort of painting and over painting. And I think I was doing a lot of overpainting just because I wasn't happy with the effect I was getting with the blender that I was using. So I kind of leave it for a little bit and then go back onto the foreground. So now what I want to do is mimic that texture that I've got in the sky and bring that into the foreground as well. So I start squeezing paint in there and blending that out. Notice I've got the sort of more vibrant greens in the foreground and that gives you lots of depth into the painting where you can almost walk into it if i kept the sort of same browns and and that that i've got in the middle ground in the foreground it would have looked very very flat and it's because i've put those other colors in those brighter colors that gives it the depth So then I go in with the um, hard, no, sorry, the thick gloss square brush. And I do quite a bit of work because I'm still sort of um, fumbling around. That I like some of the effects that the blending brush is doing, but not all of them. So then I start to use the uh, brush to add uh, different textures and, and a feel to it. And you notice there, the tree has kind of lost that um, dynamic shape and it's got that flat horizontal edge along the bottom. So later on, I'll, I'm going to go in and fix that. But you've got to watch out for things like that. The photo's way more dynamic. So I'm just adding in a little bit of um, detail in the foreground, sort of leading you up to that tree. That green I just put in, uh, gets your eye to sort of follow it and and take you up to the tree so i'm messing about with the brush again in the sky and i'm not happy while while i'm doing all of this what's going through my head is that i'm not happy with it it's not getting the effect i want the edges are far too sharp and i want it to be um softer 
So I do have to make a decision. And I think I probably created a, another layer at this point. At some point I, I created a second layer. And um, I'm still using the brush. And here we are. I'm trying with a blender again. And this is with the um, Ard Out Smudge. And just not feeling it. And I'm kind of losing my way and thinking, it's not working. It's not doing what I want it to do. And you can see I'm undoing it there with the paint and um, struggling with it. And then um, st still messing about. I think I probably had a, a, a bit of a, a tea break moment there. So now I think I've created a new layer. And um, wax some even more dark colours in. And it's all about, because I'm not happy, it's not the colours I'm not happy with really, it's the textures. And I'm sort of fiddling around with it and wondering what, where to go next and what to do. And it's all um, sort of driving me crazy. And then, boom, Eureka. Notice now, all of a sudden, everything's becoming softer. And it's because I used the hard, wet blender. So I changed. I thought I need to change the blending brush. And straight away, that just made such a massive, massive difference to the sky. And um, I thought that's it that is that's exactly what I want so the secret uh, to this painting is the fact that I used the hard wet blender never used it before first time I tried it and it was just a uh, case of desperation that led me to pick that up and give it a try and now at this point I'm way happier so I'm just sort of fiddling and adding a few highlights so let's say i put a few sort of brushes in the uh, middle ground below the tree and then scratching a few shapes with the palette knife into the uh, foreground i sign it and then i think that's pretty much it i don't know oh yeah i just changed that's where i just changed the shape of that tree to give it that curve and that is it. That is my uh, finished painting of a very windy day at the top of a hill in Buxton. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I've got lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.